Saudi government is beefing up security ahead of tomorrow's planned Day of Rage protests. This is Saudi police reportedly opened fire to break up a protest in the mainly Shiite eastern region of the country earlier today. How could Saudi unrest affect the already skyrocketing price of oil here at home? Joining me from Houston, John Hoffmeister, former president of Shell Oil and now the founder and CEO of Citizens for Affordable Energy. John is also the author of a terrific book, Why We Hate the Oil Companies, Straight Talk from Energy Insider. All right, John, let's have some straight talk from Energy Insider. First of all, welcome to the Glenn Beck uh, program. You and I have worked before. It's nice to see you here. Thank you, Judge. Thanks for having me. All right. Is oil really going to hit $200 a barrel? And if it does, what is that going to do to the price of the pump? That's what everybody wants to know. Well, let's hope it doesn't get anywhere close to $200 a barrel. I think that kind of a price puts us right back into a domestic recession, if not a global recession. Uh, and, and, but at any rate, oil hates the turbulence and right. the uncertainty of what's going on in the streets of the Middle East. Saudi Arabia is the mother load. 10% of the world's oil production comes out of Saudi Arabia. The two things to watch tomorrow are what's the size of the turnout right. of the population right. and what's the degree of repression that the government would push on to the demonstrators, right, if let, any. Let's address those two things. If the turnout is huge and mainly peaceful and people are not shot and killed, how does Wall Street or whoever trades oil in this country interpret that? I think they relax. Okay. They don't think of it as too extreme because people have a right to say what they think. It's when they are repressed as what happens in Iran or what happens in Libya. Or, you know, things relaxed a bit in Egypt right. when the army, you know, let the people do what they did. Exactly. Now, John, you know this better than anybody. Uh, you're the former president of Shell Oil. Saudi Arabia is a police state. It's basically owned by the royal family. There's, a, there's an enormous disconnect between the average person that lives there and the princes and kings that, uh, that run the place. Suppose there's violence tomorrow. Suppose there's repression. Suppose there's death in the streets, and we see it on American television. Then there's going to be a chill run down everybody's spine, and people who need oil in the future are going to try to grab it at whatever price it's available, and we could see a large spike in the oil price if that kind of repression takes place. All right, we're going to put up a chart, gas prices this week. It shows that on March 4th, just a week ago, the average was $3.47 a gallon. March 10th today, the average is $3.53 a gallon. So you have that kind of a movement just in a couple of days. Is that a trend, or is this a spike? Well, I think it's a spike depending upon how long this Middle East thing plays out. But don't forget, we still have next year and the following year and the following year. We are on a demand curve, Judge, that is only going up. And we're on a supply curve that is all but flat. Will the and at some point in the not too distant future, right. the demand is going to exceed the supply, then we're really in trouble. What will it take, last question, John, what will it take for the government to recognize that there's so much oil here in the Gulf of Mexico and in Alaska that they should let us take it out of the earth so we don't have to worry about the disruptions in the, in the Middle East? Well, I think it would take the unthinkable. And the unthinkable is a recognition of reality by the existing administration. Right. So far, we haven't seen that. But we can always hope that there will be reality and, and, and that the administration would face into the fact that while alternatives are great down the road, we're on an oil economy today, and right. we should produce more oil today. John Hoffmeister, you put your finger right on it. Reality and the Obama administration are strangers. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Michael Moore, you know him, declaring a class war against fat cats on the left, like George Soros, Oprah Winfrey, and Warren Buffett, plus a breakthrough on collective bargaining rights in Wisconsin. All that next.